What is going on, you guys? It's your boy Avery here, and welcome to this channel's first ever market watch. I figured I would try something different. Instead of just your typical discussion video or deck profile, I wanted to branch out and do something a little bit differently. So make sure that you destroy that subscribe button because y'all been killing it. Like real talk, we went from 729, we dropped to 727. I talked about how I was bleeding subs, and now we're on up to 731. So I'm not going to jinx it because I'm going to shut my mouth out about it. And uh, we're going to keep on rolling up that gravy train. So thank Thank you so much for the support smash it so we can get to 800 subscribers so let's talk about uh i almost said burst of destiny dimension force so you're looking at 61s on regulus starlights are 300s uh ghost bells are 400 i'm so glad that i didn't buy this at 500 dollars. if you've learned anything from watching this pre-sale of dimension force don't buy shit on pre-sale because they drop like a rock right afterwards and we've seen this a lot with a lot of sets recently um, you know, one of the things that comes to mind is like burst of destiny, uh, DPEs on presale were 150 and on regular, like once everything came out, it was like 90 to 95. So it's nice to see that ghost bells have dropped to 400 boxes or 61s illegal nights down to the $14 mark. <laughs> These were at fifties when they first got like on presale and, uh, I picked up my play set for 10 a piece. So that's nice to see. Alba's holding the line at 25 to $30. That's nice to see. Beyond the Pendulum's at 24. Uh, Visa Starfrost at nines. Berea's at 15s. I mean, just seeing Berea at 15, like, yeah, Regulus is 60 bucks. Therions are going to be mad cheap. Like, depending on your ratios, like, you know, yeah, Regulus is going to kind of kick in the nuts for 60 a piece. But like Berea's at 15s, Coliseum at 6s, and this is on pre-sale. They're going to drop even more once everything comes out onto the market on the 20th, which is actually midnight tonight. Um, so keep that in mind. If you're looking to pick up theory on stuff, just be patient. Let the stuff drop. Uh, next up here, change of heart. Oh, God. Hit me with this. Look at that jump. 16s for unlimbs. First editions were 21s, and they've exploded. Like This is like a fucking power level. Uh, heavy plays for 55 that feedback though no thank you hit me with that light play light play <laughs> light play 75 first edition 82 what the fuck near mints are 77 for unlim up to 100 first edition is 136 for a legendary collection through yugi's world oh god what is um are these still bad? Metal Raiders? If you're going to go big, you might as well go to the Metal Raiders because that shit's a magic card. First editions are 425 and they're tanking now. The Unlims are $55. What the fuck? Light Play Unlim is $30. Uh, near Mints, you're looking at $50 for a Near Mint Change of Heart magic card. Lord have mercy. Uh, Despia stuff, you're looking at 37s on Secret Rare Alu Bars. Quartus are 24s. Uh, Ultra Alubar's holding line at 15. The Dramaturgs are holding line at dollars. Same for the reprints. Dollars. Proskinians are dollars. Uh, Ad Lipidums are dollars. Tragedies, 50 cents. Like all this stuff is on the cheap sheet. Um, let's see what branded stuff is. Let's see. Openings are 26s. Albion's 15. Brandon, Brandon and Reds are 5s. Jesus. Like, what the fuck? Brandon Banishment, <laughs> $5. I mean, that makes sense. That's going to drop. Um, Branded Sword, $0.09. Cents. Yeah. I mean, everything else is, is just kind of maintaining the line. Uh, Burst of Destiny. <laughs> How the Mighty Have Fallen. DPEs. <laughs> I just look at that drop it's like yeah pfft. they've just like they've shit themselves out of existence they were 90s 514 to 516 and they have just shit themselves in value you can pick up a near mint right now for 71 dollars shipping included even then i think that's too much if you're if you're considering buying like dpes or even like dragoons which is right here uh, i would say wait like, seriously, wait. If you're not going to any regionals anytime soon, like, if you're just not even playing in the Dimension Force regional season at all, you have no reason to pick up any of this stuff, like, at all. Uh, Dragoon Starlights, or 410. 410. Yeah, hold on the line at 410. 420 Blaze It from Card Crack. Uh, we'll look at you in a second, Anaconda. 
Uh, let's see here. And then regular Dark Dragoons also shit themselves. These things were a hundred and like twenty dollars. Hundred and tens, and they've just shit themselves in value. You can pick up eighty dollars right now, near mint. Up to eighty one. I I still wouldn't pull the trigger on that. Uh Vertes. No. <laughs> <laughs> they were twenty dollars three months ago and they have just tanked oh my you can pick up one now for two dollars <laughs> five years from now when people say that this is a fucking retro format <laughs> uh wow let's uh let's look at imperms and ashes uh let's see all versions all versions of ashy so you're looking at Ultimates for 200s, supers for 10s, secrets are $40, get the fuck out of here. The golds are 12s, no. Ashes are still holding the line at $30. Let's let's look at these classic maximum crisis secrets. Look at, th this shit's going up. Damn. Look at this, you're gonna get a damage unlimb for 50. What'd you do, chew on it? Or Koreans for 50, get the fuck out of here. TCG player, please get rid of these Korean listings. This is some baby back bullshit. Like, honestly, you want to do this shit? Go to eBay. Damage first is $55. Hit me with that near mint. Near mint. All this Korean shit. So near mint, $5 for shipping. Why? So $90 on up to $95 over $100 for a secret rare original print first edition Ash Blossom. I don't need feet that bad. I already have a pair of feet. Uh, these are going up. Uh, direct by TCG player, $38 for an Ash. Um, light play is 27 Near Mint is 28 29 29 Yeah, that's about right. $30. I mean, that's what I got my two copies at is 30 bucks a piece. Um, yeah, that sounds about right. Let's see what's going on in Soul Burner now that salad is a thing. Circles are threes. Gozens are fours. What the fuck? Gazelles are threes. Roars, dollars. That's nice to see. Um, Mirage Stallions are still in the cheap cheap. Where's uh, where's our boy Gazelle? Huh. Yeah, Gazelles are pretty cheap. Um, yeah. I mean, you're looking at... You're looking at a really cheap deck. Spinnies are like $2. Like, really, what is... What is expensive in this? Like, Deco Talker Heat Soul? Let's go see what's going on from Ghost from the Trash. Uh... Oh, dark arm 63s that must be nice ghost in the past sphere mode 58s that's not terrible uh red eyes is 120s blue eyes over 300 dark magician girls are 300 dollars. these things are like 600 on pre-sale halky five racks are four dollars uh heat souls are dollars banshees are dollars if you want a penny stonk or Penny Stonk. That sounds like such an idiot saying that. But regardless, Penny Stonk, Borland, and Banshees. And Zombie Worlds, too. Guarantee to you, if anything, the, the Banshee is going to go up. Um, but definitely don't pick up anything from Dimension Force. You want that stuff to drop first. Battle of Chaos. Uh, let's see. Illusions are 170 for Starlights. Uh, Geek Boys drop. These were at like 16. You can see from the market price. Now they're at like 10s. That that seems right. Illusion of Chaos is our 20s. Uh, Thursday is 15s. Uh, Advents are up to 12. Guardian Chimera. What's what's going on with this? He's going back up. $55 to $55.74. I should probably pick up my copies now, quite honestly. Because I'm, I'm going to be playing Brandon until, uh, until Spike comes out. What's going on with Masquerade? This card has no excuse being a lot of money. Shit's going back up. Yup. Should have got shit. 37, 37, 37. Yeah, they're holding the line at 37. 32 and $5 shipping. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> like, why? 37, yeah. They're they're holding the line at 37. I mean, for a card that's a two of, a one of, depending on your build, the card's so damn good. I mean, when you're able to, especially if you're going second with Brandon and just push the opponent depending on how you open, and ending on one or two masquerades is just so good. Patchworks, oh god, these are going to the fucking moon. You're looking at 849. Uh, 750, 750. Yeah. 
You can pick up a copy right now for $8.49. A playset, though, $7.50 a piece. That's not bad. Edge of Chains. Also, I want to look at uh, all versions of Patchwork. Yeah, you're looking at like $3 for rares. These are... Ah, uh, yeah, 4 bucks. That's that's actually not terrible for Patchwork. So you're looking at $9 for a set. Edge of Chains. All versions. Uh, so you're looking at $9 for the Super. Eights and eights for commons. What? What? So light play first is eight eighty two, then seven eighty seven eight twenty <laughs> twenty nine copies nine twenty eight. Just get your two copies from here. Like yeah, you're paying. Well, actually no, fuck that. You're getting your two copies here at eight eighty two. Who cares that they're light play? They're they're commons. Who gives a shit? <laughs> so guys, that is your market watch. Please. Let me know what you think. Do you like this kind of style? Do you prefer if I not do market watches? You know, I kind of want to branch out the channel and do other things. Um, so please let me know in the comments below if you like this. Oh, and one last thing that we must check at the end of our market watch. Chain Strikes. This only has one printing. Do you know that? Cyber Dark Impact. You're looking at 49 cent. Looking at 49 cent near mint first edition and 50 cents after that. So... Get your chain strikes while you can. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video.